all right you guys regarding the video that you are about to watch i just want you to know do not be alarmed also do not be afraid <laughs> there's a urgency to this but it's not it's a certain kind of urgency it's an urgency of preparation that the lord is preparing us for things that are to come and there's an urgency for you to finally listen. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Because many warnings have gone out for us to be prepared. But this is like, listen to me. That's the best way I can put it. It's like the Lord is saying, listen to me. Heed my warnings that my prophets have put out. Take it seriously. And it's time for you to move on it. There's no more time to sit on it. And I understand that. The way in which we will be operating for the next three months will be a lot of words concerning your home. And just continue to watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, you guys, I hope this will be short and quick, but this is concerning the word that is going to be repeated for the next three months. And I know for certain it definitely will. It's concerning your homes. I spoke the other day, and to be very brief, there are three homes that we're speaking about. The Lord is wanting you to prepare. Your first is your spiritual home and your relationship with him. The second is the home that you live in, the physical home that you live in. The third will be the home that you stored over, meaning if you have children in your house, your mother or father, also your relationship as far as your husband-wife relationship, if you have any of that going on, that is the third home. The Lord is talking about there's a focus on the family right now because he needs you to withstand the winds that are coming. There's something else that is coming, basically. Um, today, the Lord was taking me through some things with preparation of my home. He still has me cleaning out my home, through purging things out. And as I purge things out, he's also telling me what it is I need to bring in. I'm making lists, and as I'm making lists, I'm thinking, man, this is something I should share. And he's telling me straight up, no. Here's why. What I need in my house will not be what you need in your house. And the Lord has made it very clear to me for me not to open my mouth concerning anything that he has told me to get. There's enough lists out there from different places on what it is that you should have. But the Lord is saying he knows exactly what is needed for your home. What I need in my home is not what you're going to need in yours. And he needs you to come to him. Jeremiah 33 3 is also going to be something that we lead with in the next three months this is going to be the next three months how break God breaks down words for me next three months is going to be a focus on home all three homes Jeremiah 33 3 it speaks about how the Lord tells secrets to basically he divulges secrets to his friends you are his friends he wants to tell you secrets and things that you need to know concerning the things that are coming onto this earth. My needs here in Louisiana might be different than someone's needs in Montana, okay? Or maybe you're not even in the United States. You're in a whole nother country, Australia, Africa. The way that the Lord is speaking, this is not just a United States thing. There is something that is coming to this earth. Okay, and you guys are going to need to be prepared for the things that are coming to this earth. It's just not the United States of America. Okay, um, so I urge you guys to take time with the Lord regarding your homes. All right, um, the Lord's reminding me, and He has reminded me earlier today. Of this vision I kept having when I was living in Atlanta I kept seeing water rising over and over again I kept seeing that different places I would go the Lord would show me water rising and he brought it back into my mind today and he's bringing it back into my attention right now he also brought back into my attention that he told me that there would be mass movements of people from one place to another and I was reminded today about this hurricane Helene that happened and the Carolinas, Atlanta, all those areas, Florida, and how there is actually another hurricane brewing up right now. A lot of those people that lived in those areas, they are not going to just be able to go back into those areas. Um, complete and total destruction happened. And right after that, he was reminding me of a conversation I had with my son the other day concerning Katrina. And when Katrina happened in New Orleans, a lot of people relocated to the area that I live in. 
um, we were not affected by that. And I was telling him that the certain lady that we, we know that's where she is from. And he was like, oh, I didn't know she was from New Orleans. I'm like, yeah, she just didn't go back. A lot of people did not go back. And the Lord's reminding me of how he told me a few months ago there was going to be a mass movement of people. Like, I saw it like herds. Um, I saw it like birds whenever they migrate. There was going to be a, a migration. And right now, I'm hearing about an exodus, okay? A second exodus. There's going to be a mass migration of people. Even, um, the Lord's bringing back another conversation I had with someone. Even moving to the west of the United States California the, from the I'm, I'm sorry I'm seeing at the same time moving this way to the west okay there's going to be people moving westward um Laura, is there anything else I need to say you need to come to him for your directions because there's somebody I yeah, I'm remembering. God's reminding me why why this is coming back. There's somebody that was in the West asking me a question about them moving. And the Lord actually said to stay still. So, it's the same same word. Um, but even with that person, I know you're probably listening. Please go to the Lord and ask him what it is you need to do to prepare your house. Every single person that's listening to me. What do you need to do to prepare your home? everybody's situation is going to be different and only the lord knows what it is that you need for your house i will talk to you guys when i'm told to talk to y'all i'll see you later bye y'all